What's up guys, Thomas from FJC Speed Factory, and today we're getting all the new products that we've gotten in for the month of July. All right, before we begin, we're gonna first announce the winners for who won the NVIDIA N2 that we're giving away, and through our random YouTube comment generator picker thing, uh, Luke Herzberg. You are the new owner of a slightly used NVIDIA N2, so I'm gonna be sending you an email and we'll get that shipped out soon. So for everybody else, all you losers out there who didn't win the N2, you see that shelf? right over there that's full of stuff that we're gonna be giving away so we'll probably do one giveaway a month maybe a little bit more just stay tuned uh, to the YouTube channel and the Instagram uh, and you might get some free stuff okay okay so the first new thing this month is HKS's super manifold uh, this is basically just an exhaust manifold it is unequal length uh, obviously and this is a four to one so four pipes that col collide into one four to one merge collector here but this is even though it doesn't look like it it is catted and let me <laughs> it's it's so tiny look how small the catalytic converter is okay it's from the end of the uh, the, the collector to the end of the flange it's like two inches long like this is this just meets the definition for being a catalytic converter. Now, the reason that HKS went with the four into one instead of a four, two, and then one, like a lot of headers, and I think they even make a four, two, one, but they made a four to one header because they say that it creates more of that Subaru rumble noise, that, that boxer engine, the, the colliding of the exhaust pulses. That sounds like, like a WRX, like something that has actual unequal length headers. So this could give you more of that super rumble than like a traditional four to two to one exhaust header. And it's gonna give you more power and stuff. And it's actually catted, even though <laughs> it's so freaking tiny. Now, along with the, uh, the new header, the super manifold that they call it, uh, we also have a new, they call it a joint pipe, I mean, we know it as an overpipe. HKS made their new overpipe, which looks pretty rad. How do I open this? Swing! And this would go, which end is it? I don't remember. It's this way, yes. This would mate right at the end of your header or exhaust manifold if you had a stock one. And this goes around the uh, subframe and you know, into your front pipe right here. So this one's where they go from like, this is a 60 millimeter um, diameter. I think stock's like 51 or 54, something like that. Uh, so yeah, this would be a pretty decent pair. You'd have two HKS parts that uh, look sick. So new from Faction Fab are some new coilovers. We have two different coilovers for them. They're both affordable. We have the F spec and then we have the FR spec. The F spec is a little bit cheaper, about 150 bucks cheaper. It saves on a few features. If you want all the features, go with the FR spec. It's a little 150 dollars more, but you get stuff like camera plates. So let's go through both specs. Now both of them use 32-way adjustable damping controls and they both have a monotube shock design. Now the F-Spec, the more affordable one, the cheaper one, this one has uh, 7K springs and then the fronts so you can get a max drop of 2.4 inches lower and then in the rears it's a 1.9 inch drop. But these do not have camber plates up front, it's just a standard top hat up here. If you do want camber plates, go with the FR because the FR version is gonna give you those camber plates up front. You also get a lot stiffer springs. You get 10K springs instead of 7K springs, and these do a 1.9 inch drop on old corners, so it's not gonna go as low in the front as the F, uh, F spec, but this one's gonna be more designed for aggressive driving and occasional track use. Now, if there's any of you out there making some serious power out of your FA20 or maybe did an engine swap and you're still using the factory rear diff, now we finally have 800 horsepower rated rear axles. That's a crazy amount of power to be putting down, but uh, you know, if you're doing stuff like drifting, those are super abusive to everything, and Driveshaft Shop is the one that came out with these axles. They also make drive shafts, obviously, with the name, um, but they teamed up with some pro drift, uh, drift teams, and they developed these 800 horsepower axles. So if you're making crazy amounts of power, maybe did an LS swap, um, now we finally have some axles for you. 
Now, if this month you're kind of strapped for cash, you can't afford all the stuff we talked about so far, but you still want to do something in your car, well, we got some super affordable valve stem caps. They got the Subaru logo on them, and maybe someone stole all your valve stem caps. Now you can buy some that has a Subaru logo on it. Really only makes sense if you had a BRZ, but if you put on an FRS or 8.6, I'm not gonna judge you. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email at sales at ft86speedfactory.com. We're gonna be doing more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're first going to announce the winners for the NVIDIA N2 because a bunch of you guys have been asking, and I told you it's gonna come in the new products video, but you're like, what? Anyways. <laughs> In case springs, and then you have, uh, forget, oh, 